Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to Subsistence. Yeah, nice sunshiny day. Looking pretty nice. And I think today is going to be a build day. And there's a bear over there we have to be careful of. I'm going to take this fire. Wow, it's getting close to uh, disintegrating completely. But we'll put it under there so it stays dry. And I think what we'll do is I'm going to take this top piece and I'm going to move it over where I want to start doing our building. Let me see. I want to, uh, it's under the water. I don't want it to be under the water. I want it to be just a little bit above the water so it's going to be pretty easy for us to get inside. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to be able to jump up there. I think that'd be fine. So yeah, the plan is going to be to um, this bottom level right here is going to be where we're going to have the ATV building um, area, station, crafting station, whatever you want to call it. And then there's going to be a second floor right above it that's kind of going to hang over. And that's where I'm going to put my base command unit. So I'm going to make some stairs. Ugh. So I can get up there easily enough. No, want that. And then I got a second one coming. I think we're going to need one and two of those. Maybe three. Definitely want a wall. Because we're going to put our base command unit up today. I want that up and ready. So we can get our lockpick, man. I feel kind of bummed about all the times I missed getting uh, all these specialty containers. Man, that bear is getting too close. We might have to go over there and uh, deal with them. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about putting stairs down there yet. We will. But I just want to get this taken care of. Um, we got another flat floor coming out. Probably going to have to go out in the game and go get some more supplies. Um, what I did is I had a grind day in between this video and the last video so i spent a day i got some more nails i got some more wood that's really good for us uh got a few other things that i found as i was going along and you know i think that that's just probably something i'm gonna do in between every video so that we can actually have something yeah i think what will happen is this is going to be built out a little bit bigger the foundation down here i'm going to move these stairs over that way and then this is going to kind of be right here so we have the base command unit there this could be like a walkway you could put extra stairs here to get down there i wonder if i should just move those stairs over here for right now next you no know, that'll be a problem for us to get up let's do this and yeah okay okay i think we can i think we could definitely do it yeah the stairs will be behind this wall and yeah let's go get it let's go get the materials we need let's get the base plan unit up there we go yeah shoot we don't have a lot of cordage so that's gonna hold us back a little bit today I didn't get enough of that. I was out and the nails are looking really, really good. But the cords are looking pretty, pretty uh, difficult to get here. Okay, you guys, you ready for this? You ready for it to put the BCU up? I think we'll start with it right there. Oh, there we go. Base is online. Can I, can I do one more thing? Okay, we got to put a ceiling up so that way we can grab this fire and put it underneath something and keep it dry. I know, we're going to make a wood burner, but it might be a little bit. Okay, so we move that there. Put it down and then move it up again. And, yeah, there we go. Hunters are moving in the world. Actually, let's move this over because I'm probably going to want to have the wood burner over to the left of this and yeah how long is it going to take to get that wood burner oh there's my key 
Is that key I've been waiting for? Okay, cloth. Actually, I think I have enough cloth to make that. But let's get this up there, and now we can move our fire. And we can keep this going a little bit longer. This will probably, this will probably like disintegrate today because there's just like 75 hit points left out of 600. So we could just kind of put this here. Do I have? Okay, we have this. Okay, we gotta wait for the power, Steve. You gotta wait for the power. Let's get this out of our bag. Um, we could start getting some of the stuff out. Okay, I want those. I want my arrows in here. I want this for making arrows. And we have everything here. Let's get nails out. Bullets. I'm going to keep bullets. Keep that. Get rid of you guys. Okay, let me... I'm trying to move around my stuff. Arrows. We have bullets. Shotgun shells. I'm out of this. We need that. Okay, there. There. We got a lot of room in there. And where am I going to put you? Oh, I'm getting excited, man. I, I have a good idea about what I want to build, what I want this to look like. And we could probably put... Oh, <laughs> I forgot. That's right. You can only move it so far before it... Before you lose your selection. So we just kind of move this a little bit at a time. Um, do you want to put it right here, Steve, for right now? Yeah, that's a little closer to shore. We could just go poof, right there, up here. Nice. Yeah, wood burner probably be my first choice. And probably need to make a bed after that. But there we go. All right, we got everything started. I'm excited about this. I I think I think it's going to end up looking really cool, what we're going to do with it. But there you go okay um yeah let's oh i'm hungry man I'm, I'm getting a little bit hungry did i yeah i have everything i have everything i'm hungry and we probably need to get ourselves now let's go up there where all the wood is really close together should i get this bear or this bear has got too much health on it i don't know i uh i went hunt so yesterday when i was doing my grind um i went after a level three grizzly bear was it level three or what was it? Yeah, it was like this guy. Level three. We were able to take him down. But it's it's tough. You just got to be super careful. Okay, you can't get a headshot on him, but... Okay. Run. Oh, got him. Got him. Holy smokes, that was crazy. I thought I was going to kite him, but I figured, you know what, Steve? We got we to, gotta, like, take a little bit more risk. Oh, look at all that meat. Take a little more risk, man. See, when the bear... Okay, so, typically... What happens is that when the when the animal that's angry at you chases you, when it gets close enough, like it can attack it, it'll like stop and take a swipe, or you know, if it's a moose, it'll swing its um, its uh. Oh shoot, what are they called? They're not horns, are they? Oh crap, I can't remember what they're called on the moose, but they'll they'll stop and then they'll take a head swipe at you, and when that happens. When that happens, um, you need, okay, I'm, God, I, I got to get this fire going no matter what. When that happens, it stops. And if you keep running, you get ahead of it quite a bit. And you could turn around and, and take a shot at it and then turn and run some more. <laughs> and that's what I thought I was going to do. It's like, you know what? Let's just not run. Let's turn. Let's face this guy. It's going to be super scary. Oh, did I get two of those? All right. Uh, put all that in there. And, no, did I just put away... Ooh. Okay. Gotta use up all my fibers, I guess. Get this thing started. It's gonna take a little bit. It'll probably take all today for the base command unit to 
finally get enough power to like build you know the wood burner and everything there we go oh that's so exciting how much health okay 60 health well that's doing whatever let's go get ourselves a little wood yeah it's it's gonna be cool so all the crafting and everything's going to be on the second floor and the bottom level will be a relatively small area it might be oops i can get a little bit more here um it might be like uh i want to say i'm trying to think about what's the size is it six by six i think all the all the building stuff like the big stuff like the foundation pieces are six feet by six feet i could be wrong with that but i plan on having four of those maybe six along the bottom and then the top it'll kind of hang over and all that other stuff be kind of cool and interesting i think i think it's gonna look interesting what is there anything over there i just thought i saw something yeah we're gonna go back and get our meat in just a moment i thought just want to make sure that i'm not missing anything and when i was out yesterday i um I found some blueberries. They started, I started to find them. Yeah, look at that. I wonder, I seriously wonder if the game's like, you know what? We're going to see how serious you are about playing subsistence. You're not going to get blueberries for a few days. And also, man, I found a specialty container. Okay? That's like the fourth specialty container I have found in over five days. And now we have a lock pick. And the question becomes... Will I be able to find another one today? Okay, okay, we can't have that. Let's go ahead and eat that. Uh, put you, you, you. I'm going to have you. Um, yeah, that's okay. That, that fire is probably going to go out before uh, we really... I mean, the fire here is probably going to blow apart before we have much of a chance you know what if that's going to happen if this breaks then i'm going to lose my canteen i'm gonna i'm gonna stay here just a little bit until this turns into safe to drink water and then we're going to head out i think i'm going to make a couple arrows okay that should give us four arrows that's not bad there's our water let's put those in there i'll put you there you there okay good good now if the fire completely breaks that's fine um maybe by the end of today the um the base command unit will have enough power that will be able to make the um the wood burner now do i have enough materials i can't remember off the top of my head what i needed i think we definitely we probably need like one more uh cloth i'm pretty sure i'm good on the wood and what else was there? Cloth, wood, and was it, um, did we need, uh, plant fibers? No, plant fibers doesn't seem to make sense to me. Oh, whatever. Anyway. Okay, specialty containers, everyone. We are taking a look for specialty containers, but I definitely need to get plant fibers. I might do that, like between this video and the next video. And by the way, it's April. I know you can't see that in the upper left, but we've already changed months. And we're in April. That's surprising. We haven't had 10 days in the game yet. Because it's supposed to be 120. 120 days in the year. Am I miscounting on my videos? No, we haven't done 10 videos yet. And I've only had one one grind day so technically it's like four it should be six days do we not start in the beginning of march did we start like somewhere along in march maybe we start like a week or two in march and that's why the game is like okay you're in march and but you're a couple couple few days in there so you're not going to get the full 10 days but anyway ah yes we're gonna grab this what have you got for me give me something nice okay good oh i definitely want the cords that's awesome more cords oh look at this look at this i think i can make my boots 
I'm going to be able to make my boots. We just got to get some more cloth. Okay, we got shotgun shells, some nails, couple of uh, biofuel. Okay, good. Oh, look at that. That's just about enough to make another one. Holy cow. And there we go, medicinal tonic. So, if we can get a bunch of kelp and just one liver, then I can make that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now I'm so tempted that we have everything we need. I can go make another lockpick. And there's a bunny. There's a bunny. Get him. <laughs> I, just, I, I shot the stupid tree. Ah, damn it. Ah, God. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, we had that stuff. Had a bunny blast it. Oh my god. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, I um yesterday when I was doing my grind, as I said, I went out, I I I killed my first grizzly bear. It was a level three man. He had 230 hit points and we had to I had to kite him a bit. And as I said, I went out and got nails, but I think I only found like 20 or 30 of them. And then we started seeing blueberries, which is nice. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe it takes a little while for the blueberries to to show up. I, I don't know what maybe the game, how that's set up. But I did find a lot of kelp, man. I was like, I found like a place where I could just see nonstop wall or floor-to-floor -floor kelp. And I didn't grab it, of course, because that stuff does go bad. Nice. We got to get as many bunnies as we can get our hands on. Because I need cloth as much as I can get. I don't know how much I had back at the base. Maybe enough to make uh, to make the boots. would be nice to make the boots today. But I want the wood burner. The wood burner has got to be next. Because my guess is tonight's going to be, you know, it's going to be cold. You know, it's March. So even though we are down... And I can see a moose over to the left. There's a moose over there. That's a moose. We are not going to go hunting moose because guess what? We have Sinu now. Why in the heck in the world would I uh, take that kind of risk when I already have what I need to make some boots? Oh, I'm so excited about that. If, if we see it, find another specialty container... I will definitely run down to the base and make another lock pick. And I'll definitely try to get in the habit of doing that. I think last season I wasn't as, as you know, crazy about making sure that I had lock picks wherever I went out. Sometimes I went out and I didn't have anything. Oh, there's a deer over to the right. Just taken off. I know. I think we're fine. We don't need a lot. We can have that. And have you. Oh, so happy about that. So happy about specialty container, man. Every almost every day, every day but one day, I have seen a specialty container so far in this series. That's just nuts. It is. I've never seen anything like that. Never ever seen it that many days in a row. Yeah. Get that. How are we doing? How am I doing for locks? 67 is pretty good. There's a big bear over there. All right. That's enough for me to come over here and stay away from him. I think, yeah, we were, we were perfectly fine on food. I wonder where all the hunters are going to build their bases. Okay, so you're just, you're just going to have to imagine this with me as I, as I tell you about this. So, um... Two seasons ago, I built a base over by the North Lake on River. And it was season three. So I've destroyed the uh, Hunter's Fortress in that season multiple times. So it's moved around a couple times. And I decided to destroy it. And this, I did this like not in the recording or anything. I just wanted it to move where from where it was. Should I go after? Yeah, I should actually 
see if I can get it myself. Actually, you can run and catch them, Steve. That's you know what. That's totally what you should do. Don't use arrows on on a chicken. Just run and catch them. That's that's the best best way of handling that, so you don't waste too many uh, arrows. Anyway, um, so I destroyed it, and then I was I I destroyed everything. I destroyed all the hunter bases so they would move. And I wanted them to move closer to where my um, current base was. And uh, once I finally figured out where they had moved. So, I mean, I'm, you can see the mountains way out there. Okay, so my base is on the opposite sides of those freaking mountains. And I, I kid you not, the Hunter Fortress is right at the top of that of the ridge right over overlooking the cove that's where they reformed I mean the complete almost complete opposite side of the map I I never seen I've never seen anything like that before usually my understanding is that they they reform but not that far away from wherever your you know whatever your base command unit or wherever like the oldest base I think the rule is like the oldest base command unit and that's where they, that's where they will form their base. Uh, okay, actually, Steve, that's right. We got a lot of plant fibers. You know, I'm I want to do some more building, but I think I'm really happy just to go out here and do a little farming, get everything ready, try to get some more materials, and then I think before we get back, hopefully the base command unit will be powered up enough that I can make the. Uh, Make the wood burner so I can have some heat for tonight. Because it'll be kind of cold. So I think the, the way the base will be is, like I said, uh, everything's going to be on the second floor. And I'm going to build it so it's growing up. I got like this kind of half circle idea for how the base will be set up. So it should be, ooh, there we go. So it should be actually kind of new and unique. You know, not the big rectangular box box that I've been making try to make something oh we got a couple of couple of deer but I don't I don't need those deer they can they can go ahead and do whatever it is that they're doing oh it's getting a little later come on I could use well I got some shotgun shells it's nice yeah pretty soon we're gonna make a Double barreled shotgun. Well, maybe not pretty soon. It's, it takes time, man. Getting the materials is definitely a grind in this game. We're doing pretty good for wood. I don't think, Steve, let's leave the trees be for a little bit. And with whatever light we have left, let's definitely... Let's see if we can get a couple more crates couple more we should have enough wood for fire for making everything we want let's go up here I think is that something to cross yeah that's something there definitely want to grab that a couple more boxes let's go up here and take a look at the top of this rock See if you could spot anything. Yeah, having that double barreled shotgun has totally spoiled me. I know it's only two shots, but the thing is, um, there's so much damage, and you can fire them like back to back fast. I mean, you don't even have to reload, and that's the problem with the regular shotgun. Is when you have a, you know, a freaking max level bear, grizzly bear bearing down on you you have to re re cock it's i don't think that's the right term for shotgun but you have to uh put another shell in the chamber before you can fire it again and that's you have to do that every time and that's like holy cow um you don't want to have to do that when it's barreling down on you that's that's the neat thing about the double barrel shotgun and yeah as soon as i get that we're gonna get that and then I'm going to work at uh, upgrading the max level so that thing is 
able to like you know one shot some of these level three animals and i did that um in that same level um or series three uh base that i built i took the uh double barrel shotgun and i spent all the materials i had gathered up and i got it to max level four and it one shots easily one shots 180 hit point grizzly bear that's that'd be a level one and that season three was also a um a normal profile so it wasn't i wasn't playing easy mode uh let's see okay i think that's fiber i don't think i got a lot of fiber that's okay we got we actually did find get quite a bit of cordage okay you and there was something here. Okay, that's food. That's good. All right, we're really good. Tomorrow's looking good. I still think, I still think I'm gonna do a grind. I think my plan is moving forward is, um, I'm gonna do a grind in between every video, just to get more material so we can get something done. I mean, I'm happy about this because, you know, uh, if I didn't go out and grind, we were not gonna have enough materials to do this. We were definitely not going to have enough to do what we just did here. Okay, we get over here. Oh, okay, there we go. We're up. We're on top of that. Uh, I don't need a shotgun. How are you doing? Are you almost gone? Let's grab you. Put you in here. Let's grab you. Oh, he's all... Okay, there we go. We got the wood. Got this. Got that. Let's make a wood burner and that I'm going to disassemble that grab that eat that that's good okay wood burner okay do I have let's see let's get a starting kit going get all this stuff out of here oh shoot bags full okay actually yeah we can do that I might do that tomorrow okay let's get this going a uh, little bit of wood ignite okay not a lot of light but some light put that on there have a little drink of water and Ooh, bear. Not good. There we go. Yeah, he knows we're over here. I don't think he's going to come in the water. I don't typically... No, you know, that's not true, Steve. I've seen animals go in the water before. But he may not. As long as he doesn't get close enough. And if he does, he'll just attack that foundation. He should be totally fine up here. So anyway, I think that'll be it for this video. I'm stoked we got everything put together here and yeah um, I think that'll be it for this video you guys and um, I'll see you in the next one okay later dudes